Well, how has this hit the construction industry? Epidemic. The construction industry leads all industries uh, in overdoses, first of all. So you're looking at construction, you're looking at manufacturing, transportation, agriculture, administrative, mining, quarrying, public administration. Why do you think it hits construction so hard? <clears throat> Good question. Uh, and we don't have the answers. My gut feeling is that, uh, you know, it's accessible probably a little more than any other type of, you know, industry. You know, you, you, we're not in an office setting. Mm -hmm. uh, I think another part of it is uh, work hard, play hard, and in construction, as you know, if you don't go to work, you don't make money. Right. So mm -hmm. if a guy has a muscle strain or a knee injury or you know one of his extremities are injured in some way uh, and he goes to a doctor, one of the first things they want to do is get you back to work and right. prescribe something to relieve the pain for that day. And uh, so the, the person goes to work with, on a painkiller and uh, makes it through the day. And then as time goes on, the doctors prescribe, a, you know, a small amount of painkiller. And then when that, the prescription runs out, uh, some of those people are at high risk of being addicted to that painkiller. Yeah. And, and it's frustrating because, you know, most of the time through no fault of their own, and uh, they get hooked. I mean, no one... Have you seen this personally? Yeah. yeah. Uh, you know, working out in the field, uh, I, I've seen it. And... Part of what the takeaway on this whole presentation would be was we need to help out our brother members and sisters. If you see something, say something type of thing where, you know, it's, I, the meeting I had with the coordinators, it was an educational process where I said to them, you as coordinators are going to see your apprentices day after day, night after night, whatever the, whatever the situation is. Look for those signs. Is the apprentice missing a lot of time? Is his work, uh, is his report at work, uh, he's missing time there or he's just not with it? There's, there are, most of the time there are signs that someone has an issue, whether sure. it's, uh, you know, opioid related or whatever it is. But I think we need to have a, uh, we need to do a better job on educating and assisting that member. Like I said, no one wants to be hooked on painkillers. Right. Uh, I'm a big per, I'm a big proponent of second and third chances. Sure. You know, when we train these apprentices and if they, they come across a little bump in the road, I'm saying little, a bump in the road, whether it's work-related, opioid-related, whatever it is, sit them down. Have a conversation with them. Tell them there is a better way. There is a plan. There's a policy. There's programs that we can help you out on. Assist your member if you see an at-risk situation.